Have you um heard any of it, or do you even care to listen to it? Do you like Kendrick? Do you go out of your way to listen to his music? I like Kendrick. I have not listened to this new album. I know it came out, what, like two, three weeks ago? And someone told me that it came out, and I was like, oh, cool, I'll listen to it when I get the chance. I just still haven't had the chance to listen to it. It took me like a month and a half to listen to J. Cole's new album, so it's just, it's going to take me a while. I'll get to it eventually. Yeah, I feel you. Um, so Kodak Black is on an album, and um, if you're wondering how that correlates to you know the Atlanta stuff, um, on Kendrick's most recent album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, where he aims to address toxic masculinity, homophobia, and sexual assault in the black community, he features Kodak, who has been involved with sexual assault cases as the perpetrator. And I get what he's going for, but the final product for both of these things, while the final product for both of these things are actually really good, it gets tainted by the addition of horrible people who could have easily been parodied. So I completely get the criticism, and I actually agree with that. Um... But now let's talk. Let's let's get into a, a very specific song on an album that has been discussed, rightfully so. It's called Auntie's Diaries. Um, the song discusses his um his trans uncle and cousin who um both transitioned to um becoming um you know men as they felt like they were their entire lives, and um in the process he says the f slur at least a dozen times, and calls both of um both his uncle and his cousin by. Um, their old names. And naturally, people are upset about this. And that makes sense, you know. Like, I wouldn't want a white person who's trying to make a point about something to say the N-word in their song. Nor would we let them get away with it. So I definitely, I definitely get it. Um, and for those who don't know, I am pansexual. And I'm not going to say the slur. I'll say nigga, but I'm not going to say the F slur. But, um, like, at the very end of the song, he, he literally says... um. He says, uh, you can only, you should only, um, be okay with saying the F slur if you're okay with a white woman saying nigga. And I was like, he's right. Because people always like to make it, there's obviously differences between, um, racism and homophobia, but the differences aren't that large. It's hate either way. And both of these things have a slur that is specifically used against those people to um, belittle them and the F slur is very much an equivalent and um he said it way too many times <laughs> I like I, I he didn't need to say it at all but I wouldn't have been mad if he said it once but in the chorus he says it at least five times in the chorus every single time and the chorus happens at least three times so that's where the problem comes in he didn't need to say it as many times as he did he should have just said it once <laughs> in the song and, and that would have been a point made um but uh in a review I watched of the um, the uh, the album by um, Kind of Funny, um, one of the people on there named Tam um, Tamor Hussein said it better than I feel like I ever could, um, and I'm going to summarize it. He basically says that um, we live in a world where we need to reach perfection when dealing with these issues because anything less than that means you're doing it wrong. And that's a tough way to try and convince people to make a change because no one is perfect and expecting everyone to get it all perfectly right at once is ridiculous. It feels like um, this whole album is Kendrick making progress as a person, having gone to therapy and starting to work things out. This is an album where his um, execution isn't perfection, but it's progress. And I can't, can't help but be reminded of the, um, of a spoiler alert for Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, skip forward like a, co a couple seconds, but um, when Doc Ock talks to um, and, um, Tobey Maguire's Peter and asks him how, how he's doing, he says, trying to be better. And that's what this whole album feels like. It feels like Kendrick trying to be better as a person. And as much as some fanatics will shout f from the ruse that he should be canceled, he won't. And, but he is deserving of all the criticism that he receives. And, but he also deserves a chance to learn from it, learn from that criticism, learn from these mistakes. And um, if every time a person tries to be better and we shoot them down for it, then it'll just make people afraid to try. But that's all I have to say about it. Anything you have to say about that before we move on to animation? Actually, no, not animation to comics. Only thing I have to say is that you didn't have to put a spoiler warning for what is a six-month-old movie now. I don't know, man. Some people still haven't seen it. <laughs> That's on them at this point. Look, it, it, it look it, it it doesn't it doesn't hurt to put a little a little warning. But um, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. Okay. 